What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vault. Uh, today I'll be doing a game review. I don't usually do many of these. Let's just jump straight into it. And the game I will be reviewing today is Just Cause Three. Uh, this one opens with a reintroduction to I'm guessing our hero from the previous games. I've never played a Just Cause game before. Uh, Rico Rodriguez. Um, after you're reacquainted with him, you're then sent off on a mission uh, to go blow some shit up because that is what the game is. Um, the gameplay mechanics for this are pretty straightforward. They're easy to grasp pretty much from the get-go. It's really just kind of point your weapon of choice at something combustible and watch it blow up. However, I found um, a lot of the vehicles in the game, mostly the planes and cars, didn't handle well at all. Uh, and this got very frustrating when you're trying to complete one of the many, uh, many challenges. Uh, there was also no way in which uh, to take cover. So you'd get shot at and you'd be shot at and killed or you'd be shot at until you can, you know, kind of escape to a, a safer area. Uh, the levelling up system is also something I took a lot of issue with. As I mentioned, you must complete various challenges um, to upgrade Rico's weapons uh, and modes of transport, i.e. boat races, uh, firing range challenges, just general race against the clock uh, kind of challenges. When it came to the car races in particular, you, most of the time you'd be put into this vehicle that just didn't handle well in the slightest. Add to that, 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 add to that, that there were just so, so many of these challenges that, that they just quickly became very tedious. Um, the story also lacks an amazement. Uh, the main story is incredibly short, so you have to fill your time by you know, completing the aforementioned challenges or liberating military bases or military control settlements. Uh, uh, and towns and even this again becomes very very tiresome uh, a couple of good things about the game was the ability was the ability to take a military helicopter tank uh, plane and just go and cause as much damage and chaos as you could and when you manage to unlock all of the really cool more destructive uh, weapons this becomes even more fun uh, another plus for this game was that a couple of the characters had some really charming uh, personalities and managed to inject a bit of humour into things. This is mostly from our, uh, our hero Rico and his accomplice Mario. Uh, and this is thanks to a great voiceover cast and even David Tennant uh, you know, lent his, his voiceover uh, talents. Um, honestly, this game wasn't a great one for me. Uh, I played it and I finished it, but I became very bored and frustrate, frustrated throughout the gameplay. Uh, and this is probably a game franchise. A game franchise I probably won't return to. Um, even though it's got a lot of good elements about it, I find the the negative elements kind of outweigh all the good elements. Um, the lesson I took from this was that even though you see someone in a game ride a missile like it's a horse, uh, if you tried that at home, you'd probably end up making a very very big mess. Uh, so there we have it, guys. Uh, there is my review for Just Cause 3. Um, let's just jump into the two most important questions. Question number one, was this game good value for money? Uh, I would have to say it probably wasn't. There were some fun aspects to it. Um, but overall, it was just kind of very mundane, very kind of doing the same thing over and over. And even when you did kind of unlock the cooler things about it, you know, it was still just, for me, boring towards the end so i wouldn't say it's good value for money i'll definitely wait to, you know until it's cheapest chips or until you can download it for free before playing it uh question number two does this game does this game belong in the vault and as i've said before again this game has some very strong elements but not enough to kind of save it so for that reason i don't think it's going to go into the vault and there's that little diamond star and it's blown up and it's gone somewhere i don't know where uh, so there we have it, guys. There is my review for Just Cause Three. Uh, you know, and if you if you're liking these game reviews, I know I don't get, I don't get around to them as much as often as as the film reviews. Then you know, let me know because um, I've been thinking about taking them off the channel completely. Um, but then saying that, the game reviews actually get more views than the actual film reviews. So I'm not sure. But let me know what you think down in the comments below if you want to keep the reviews. If you want to keep these game reviews, uh, and if you know if you like what I'm, if you like the game again, let me know why down in the comments below. If you didn't like it, let me know why. And if you like what I'm doing here, guys, you know don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with your friends, your pets, your family, relatives, dead relatives, ex boyfriends, ex girlfriends, whatever. Until the next one, peace and love, my dudes.